The Florida Senate passed a bill providing more resources to Floridians with disabilities. Now, one group from North Central Florida sent members to Tallahassee to help advocate for it. TV 20's Emma Delamo tells us what changes could be coming. Just like how basketball is a team effort, two advocacy centers in Marion County are joining forces on Developmental Disability Awareness Day. Leaders at Arc Marion invited out clients at Hope to Bridge to eat food, dance, and play some games. They seemed to be enjoying it, and they was glad to see some of their friends, because some of them used to attend, you know, activities together, different uh, organizations and different sports activity. So I think it's been awesome. Everyone's having fun down here in Ocala, but ARC leaders have something much bigger planned. ARC representatives are in Tallahassee advocating for legislation to support individuals with disabilities. They're hoping for more money to fund services clients and their families may not be able to afford, sending a group to the Capitol to let lawmakers know their needs. Our individuals, um, there is over 23,000 right now on the Medicaid waiver wait list um, to let our needs be known that these individuals deserve meaningful days, uh, you know, life with dignity and opportunities just like everybody else. Their wishes were granted. The Senate unanimously passed SB 1758. The bill reduces the age requirement for a caregiver to apply for services along with changes to a budgeting program to purchase long-term care services. The bill still has to pass the house, but leaders are glad differences were set aside. For an individual that has a disability, they deserve every opportunity that everybody else is offered. To ensure everyone is treated equal. Emma Delamo, TV 20 News.